What's up guys, back with another video. Today I wanted to go over my uh, results from treasure hunting for over six months, just over six months. This is continuous treasure hunting every day, exhausting my 80 cents, pretty much every day. There's some weeks when I had uh, wasn't able to get that in every day. And uh, hunting in the Bronx, uh, I started with like a few properties and now I'm up to 22 properties in my treasure map in the Bronx. And I wanted to just show you um, that hunting can be profitable. Now there are, there have recently been some pretty drastic changes in treasure hunting that Upland has put into place, which is like the rotation of the competitive hunting and also the reduction in the amount of spark uh, that's, uh, you know, spark that's spawned during spark week. We're noticing that this past spark week. So there are some things that they're doing to limit treasure hunting, I believe, but I still believe it's profitable if you're if you learn the skills, and I have a whole series on uh, videos that help can help you learn the skills you need to be profitable. It does take work. It's not easy, and it can be frustrating at times. But it does take a lot of it takes some skill development to be able to do this. And I wanted to just show you real quickly. You can go to my Discord server. There's a link in the description, and go to the my major treasure finds, or my major treasures. And this starts, I'm starting it back in April. You can see 54,000. That's one of my biggest ones, an exclusive in the Bronx. And I pretty much put every large treasure or chest that I've ever found. Um, spark chests, you know, large. Uh, there's one for 12K. Um, you know, so you could scroll through this, and there are dozens and dozens or hundreds of these. And I've put snapshots of every single one. There's one we're going to see right here, 6,100. Um, so you can go through and see that, you know, these are the competitive chests that I want. I only put the larger ones in here, uh, but uh, just to show you that it is a reality. Now, the data that I use is just the server 5716. Uh, you can sign up for this server. Um, and uh, in, in Discord, it does an automatic, has a bot that automatically tracks your sends and your treasure hunting. This, as you can see here, this is my last week. 188 chests, 5,400, sorry, 54,000 total epics found, 0.42 spark, that includes spark week, pretty decent week, your profitability, so it gives you all this information, which is what I track here, okay, so check out 57116, that's the, uh, the server on Discord, but let's go over the numbers, so um, I'm, I'm sitting at 7 spark right now, just over 7 spark, which I'm pretty happy at, about, my goal is 10. Um, and I have never purchased one dime worth of Spark. Everything I've gotten was from hunting, from daily uh, logins, or from going up levels, from you know the pro to director with the Spark that you get there. So every every piece of Spark that I have is has been rewarded to me without paying a dime. So in any event, so let's go over it. So I'm tracking Upix collected, um, Spark collected. And the values, spark spent, profit of Upix, uh, both percentage and amount, and then total profit, percentage and amount, number of chests, average sends, and average uh, hunts, I uh, send per hunt, right? So six months, we started back in um, early, late April, early May, and now we're into late October. Just about six months, so let's get over it. Almost one point, over 1.7 million Upix collected. Uh, over five spark collected pretty pretty good after after six months again this is this is uh, really you know basically dedicated hunting uh, total value in spark is over 2500 that's at five hundred dollars a spark which I think is a fair number to use um, you know I know it's questionable whether spark has a dollar value because you can't sell it you can't trade it you can't do anything with it other than rent it and use it to build buildings and uh, that you know eventually you know try guess charge cars and other stuff it's a utility token if you will so i'm not sure if something really has value if you can't sell it but you can rent it so i guess it does have value that's why i put a value on it total up expense to collect this uh just under nine hundred thousand upix so but upix profit eight hundred and seventy five thousand pretty reasonable uh the percentage of upix Profit um, just about almost 50%, which is I think a pretty good number. And total profit 3,400, just over that. And total profit percentage that's with Upix and Spark, just under 
4,300 chests found in six months. That, of course, doesn't include the hunts that I didn't find a chest, like competitive hunts or Spark Week hunts, where, where, where I didn't find a chest. So, you know, it's probably much closer to like 5,000 actual hunts, if you will. But anyway, those are the chests that I found. Um, average send fee per uh, hunt is 35 Upix. Now in Bronx, most properties are at 40 Upix send uh, visitor fees. I try to find, when I can, properties that are under that, 35, 30, 20. Sometimes you find them, but most are 40. And sometimes I have time to do that, sometimes I don't. So uh, obviously, if you're able to cut down on your send fee costs, you're going to increase your profits. Um, so, And then average sends uh, per hunt, you can see I started up here in the mid threes and I reduced it down to the mid twos. That's because I've added properties over time. I've gone from like six properties or five properties to now I have 22 in my map in, in the Bronx. And I hunt exclusively in the Bronx. All right. So, you know, that's not bad. I mean, I like, I'd like to see this number below three cents and that's usually where I am. If I have three cents left, I can find a, usually find something. Uh, I could start, I could start a hunt with just three cents left, a standard hunt. And usually like, you know, probably 19 out of 20 times I'm able to find a treasure. So those are the, uh, the stats and I'm doing this because I want to just hopefully encourage people to look at hunting as a way to increase your net worth in um, Upland. I mean, I've put about $1,200 into Upland and right, ma right now my net worth is just under 38,000, um, so, sorry, 3.8 million uh, Upix, if you will. And that doesn't, of course, include the value of Spark. So I've got seven Spark. So $1,200, and I'm actually taking money out now that I'm renting Spark, which is kind of cool, right? So hopefully my goal is to take all the money, the $1,200 that I put in, I want to take that all out so that I'm basically playing with house money. Now, it's still my money because I earned it by all doing all this hunting and doing all this trading. But, you know, again, you can see from the spreadsheet that you can significantly increase, help increase your net worth by hunting. It's a long grind. It's a grind. It's not easy. You have to learn the skills to do it. Um, it's frustrating at times, very frustrating at times. And it's not for everybody. You know, you kind of have to be a little retentive to do it. But um, I can, you know, this is to show you that it is possible that if you work hard, you hone your skills, you can, you can become profitable with treasure hunting. Hopefully that will continue because I do believe that Upland is sort of phasing out treasure hunting i hope that's not the case but it seems like the moves that they're making by reducing the amount of spark spawned this past october spark we only saw one globe in bronx and zero globes in san francisco so that's not really a great trend um and also i've noticed over the last couple of weeks that the upic standard prizes have been you know you don't get a lot of large ones now i could just be in a bad variance time which happens i mean i remember going you know four or five days before finding even a spark chest so that can happen but in any event um purpose here is if you work hard you hone your skills you put in the time you can make a profit treasure hunting if you have any questions about treasure hunting put them in the in the, in the comments below or you can check out my discord server it's in the it's in the comments as well and you can see all those uh those uh, hunts that i was able to uh, find uh, nice chests and uh, yeah so hopefully this was helpful hit that like button if you like what you saw don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upland videos and have a great day